Welcome to Jared Scott Outdoors, your source in the field for local outdoor news. This week on Jared Scott Outdoors, it's springtime in Idaho, which means it's also time to go do some bow fishing. We're hooking up with Tom at Archery Idaho again. He's got this great setup to do that. I've got my kids, Riley's holding the camera, and we're going to do some daytime shooting, and then later at night we're going to pull out the lights, if you've seen it before, and have a lot of fun at nighttime doing some shooting. We're going to swap out some of the shooters um, with some other guys coming, so we'll, we'll show you those guys later on. But anyways, my kids have been asking for some time, hey, when can we go carp shooting? Because it's so much fun, and uh, Tom was gracious enough to invite us out. You bet. So, it's been fun already. It's been uh, a whole month of fun. So, you know, just get out and do it. It's a lot of fun. We're about the 1st of May. Tom's been doing this for, for a month already. So you can do it quite early. Now, we're on American Falls Reservoir. And uh, in the past, I've always filmed up in Blackfoot Reservoir. It obviously takes a little while longer for that to warm up and get shooting. So this is a first for me to be to be shooting this part of the reservoir. I, I, done, I did it one time years ago for a tournament kind of on the other end of the lake. It didn't go so well for us. <laughs> so Tom promises that there's going to be a lot of carp. <laughs> yeah, and there's no promises in hunting, right? <laughs> there, and there's no promises on hitting, right? Yeah. <laughs> lots of shots. We'll get lots of shooting in. That's yep. what we're going to get. So we, it's a beautiful day. It, it's a beautiful day right now, so it, it's looking like this should be really fantastic. Let's get after it. If you recall, I've bow fished for carp wading with ladders and by boat. Boating is always fun, and so when you have an invite to shoot carp with a good friend and on a great setup like this, you don't let the opportunity pass. My kids were probably even more excited than I was to do some shooting today. When the conditions are right, it can be some pretty intense excitement. Today we are at the north end of American Falls Reservoir, and carp could be anywhere. So as soon as the trolling motor was engaged, the kids needed to be ready, even as we left the boat ramp. However, it turned out that today, we wouldn't see much until we got into some of Tom's favorite spots. I do have a recommendation. Of course, there's having life jackets on the boat and wearing them when out cruising open water, but today I want to talk specifically about having a way to mark your location, as well as the location of where you put in the boat. This end of the reservoir is full of willows. There are some pretty big open spots, lots of passageways, and tons of thick, unpassable willow patches. If you're not careful, it would be easy to get lost within the willows, as it's really like boating through a maze. Luckily for us, Tom's been here several times this year, so he could navigate the maze and knew right where we were. Me, on the other hand, I had no clue where we were most of the time. I could tell you north and south, but I had no idea how to get back to the truck on my own. So whether you've marked it with your phone on an app or you have a GPS unit, have something just in case. The water conditions were perfect today. Blue sky, perfectly calm water, but we sure couldn't find any fish yet. Yep, carp right there, right there. Eventually, we did see a few very briefly, but the kids with the bows weren't able to spot them. Oh, there's one up, up high on the water. You see it down there about 30 feet out, going right on the edge now. Uh, it's in the trees. Right there. The big one. Oh, Abby, did you get it? was way high on that. Yeah, you were way high. Abby was pretty close. And just like that, we started finding a few. It was still sporadic, but there were some to shoot at and to miss. There's another one right there, Abby. I don't have it! Kate took a break for a few minutes as his bow got messed up when it fell, and so I grabbed my bow and jumped up to shoot. And at first, that's all I did. Shoot and miss, shoot and miss, miss, miss. It takes a little getting used to because you have to aim so far below the fish. The way the water refracts light, the fish are actually lower than they appear. Even knowing that, psychologically, it's still hard to aim low enough instead of actually aiming at the fish. Dad, right there. Right there, Tom. Even Tom was getting into the action in this hot spot. Right over, huh? Well, we hit a spot where we're getting some shooting. So far, we're not doing any hitting. I think Tom's probably wondering who we brought along, but eventually we'll hit one. <laughs> eventually, that's right. Just shooting high. Oh, right in front of us, Tom, on your left. Got him. You got him. Yeah! Oh, nice big carp. 
We hit him low. Is he? Yeah, he is. All right, there we go. First, First carp. carp of the day. Not a giant one. We'll get some bigger ones, but that's a start. Comes two over here. Abby, go in there. Oh, I was to the left of that one. Got it. Nice. Another one. Get down. Got a little one. Man, you <laughs> gotta be a good shot to get that. Wow. Got him. Dang, God. Nope. Oh. Came off. Got away. Just to the left of him. See these big ones back right there? Yep. Three of them. One, two, three. Oh. oh, now there's three behind it. Yeah. Oh, 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 dang it! I'll shoot it anyway. Oh, yeah! Nice! That's on a roll! Yeah. That was coming straight on. <laughs> nice one. Here, Ellie, you can take that spot. Nice little guy. <laughs> All right, one more. So we've got a spot over here where they're smaller. Everything coming are just small fish. And then over here on the southern side where Abby and Riley are, the big ones. But we're making it work. Oh. After I got that last one and we stopped seeing carp, Tom was able to restring Kate's bow. And so I took over the camera duties and he jumped back up ready to go. To the right. <laughs> See it? Out oh, there? Don't get it. Way right. There's another to the right. Right over right there. Right, right there. Of, right right there. Us, <gasps> no, your string, did you hear that? Yeah. You were hitting something. Oh, it's, it's still right there, Tom. Do you see that? Ooh, over the top. There's another right there. Abby, if you can, right there still. The kids still hadn't got one. In general, they were always shooting over them. That light refraction thing and adjusting the aim is just hard to figure out. And it was frustrating Abby to no end. Ooh, over the top. Oh, oh! I think she was still over it just barely. Ah! I think there's still one out there. Oh, that's a big one. No! Did I go too low that time? There's another right there, Riley. Oh, two, oh Tom, be watching right here. They're, big. They're coming to the left. That first one's big. Yeah, they're going away, aren't they? Yeah. I put my polarized lens on the camera today, hoping it would pick up the carp on film. But I was still pretty disappointed that you could see very few of them on camera. Coming, coming back, coming back. Three of them. Long shot. Oh, you ran out of string. Yep. Ooh, go right. Ooh, just over the top. You be ready, so you're just ready to go right after. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yep, come in, Abby. Abby. Oh! Did you, get the <laughs> like, did you run out of string, Abby? No? No. Oh, here's another comp, Tom, coming right back on that same line. Go! Got it! Right Got it! Oh, the arrow broke off. Way to go, Dad! <laughs> that was my bad. I had just switched Riley's bow with a different reel as his didn't have enough string. Apparently when I tied the arrow on again, I tied a bad knot as the arrow came off the string right after sticking his first carp. The arrow came off of the string when I hit it. It started moving around and came right off. Luckily, my dad was able to shoot it again, and we got it back up and got the arrow. It's not too big, but it's my first cart that I've been able to get in, so here we go. <laughs> Coming at you, Kate. Coming right, right at you. In the bushes. Right over top, you got to get way low. 
This one? Yep. Oh yeah, there's a big one. No, oh, you got it! Woo! That was the long shot too. It was a big one. Good thing I put that new string on. <laughs> and up found it. Oh. We got a we got a double. Oh. Um, they're both the opposite direction. So who's stronger here? <laughs> you might need to let Tom get his in, right? I don't know if you're gonna get through that. I think stuck on those fishes. Yeah, it's just oh. yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, that's nice. With Tom's carp off, we had to focus on Riley's fish. His had tangled up in the willows, so he had to pull the boat over there to get it. Even on the way there, the kids kept shooting. <laughs> Seriously, right there. Okay, right there, right there. Okay. I missed that. Oh, oh you were high. You were. It's stuck over here, so I'm just pulling the boat over there. So yeah, the get the carp. That's a big dude. Getting ready to spawn. Ooh, it's a big one. <laughs> a long shot too. Yeah. Ooh, barely over the top of it. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Swing right, way up. So it's kind of hit and miss today. We, you get in pockets where it's about as fast as you can reel in and shoot, and then other times you're not seeing anything. But when they see him, it gets fun. Even sometimes, with all three of us shooting at the same time, we'll manage to miss. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a I'm just glad that Tom misses sometimes, too. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh, way high. Ooh, right in front of it. Maybe a touch high. I'm gonna show that bush. See it? Oh, right over the top of it. The furthest one's bigger. There's three. Too high. <laughs> Lower. Let's start trying to go under them. Oh, Abby, Abby, you see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, too, too high. You'll see how Tom slowly draws back. If carp see motion, it usually spooks them. So the less motion, the better if you want them to come in close. And of course, the closer they are, the more you're gonna hit. Coming right here, Abby, see it? Okay. Well, high Dang, yep, high still. <laughs> Tom was nice enough to put his bow down and try to coach Kate a little bit. Ooh, just right to the side again. Ooh, that one was underneath. Still to the left. Left, yeah. For those of you who may not know, carp are a non-game fish, and that's why you can bow fish for them. They're also non-native and really do a number on the habitat. There are so many of them here at American Hi. Falls Reservoir and Blackfoot Reservoir, as well as some Hi. other lakes, that the more we can thin them down, the better. Oh, just in front of it, probably. Oh, right under us, right under us, right under us, two of them. There's another one coming under this, to the right, to the right, right there, see it? Behind it, and high. There's another one right there, Kate. Okay. Down lower, that down lower, down lower, down lower. Down lower. Oh wait dad, right in front of me there's a big oh, one. there's one right there. Bigger one, not big. Down lower. Yeah. Hurry here. Yep. Down lower. Got it! Woo! Finally! <laughs> KK, be ready in case another comes out. <laughs> Bigger than it looked. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. And we finally got into this part where a bunch of teeny little things, like 14 inches, keep swimming around. But a little bit bigger one came through and I got it. 
K Abby, right in front of us, right in front of us, both in front, K down. Down, lower. To the right, K to the right. This time you can actually see the carp coming in. The best way to describe it is that it looks like a white shadow. Bam, get it. Got him! Dang, Woo! Number five. Oh, I guess number four there. Look at me. Look at that. I would have been disappointed if you missed that one. Oh. No pictures, it didn't happen. Oh, whatever, it's on the air. <laughs> that's probably the bigger yeah. one. How was I going to get a picture of it? Yeah, that was probably your biggest one. I'll shoot it. Do I? Do I? <gasps> Extra low. Oh, so high. I do the head. Abby, what's going on over there? Got my first one! Well, kinda. Yeah, first one. Today. And you drilled it. Yeah! <laughs> got him. Okay, what do you gotta say? Uh, finally! <laughs> Alright, so it's an hour and a half now before dark. It definitely slows down as that sun gets down lower. It just, the re reflection of the sun makes it really hard to see. And uh, so we're calling it quits. So these guys are taking off, and then we've got a new group coming. Um, what do you guys think of today? It was fun. Yeah. Cade fun. didn't uh, get anything. <laughs> was it still fun? Yeah. <laughs> Abby nailed one right there at the end, so it was a good way for it to end it. And Riley had their number and did awesome. So it was overall, it was a fun day. The wind is picking up right now, which is never a good thing for shooting carp. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Hopefully as the sun goes down, the wind dies down too. Otherwise, we might be in for some trouble here. But uh, we'll give it a go. But that was the first part. Now on to round two, night fishing. As you can see, we're out of time. But the night fishing turned out to be a blast. And so I'll show you that another day. Tune in next week at the same time for another episode of Jared Scott Outdoors.